Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys. It's going to be your next 48 hour reading. Pulling from the vice versa tarot. So there's no reversals. They just have um, two sides. Two. Plus I do get some uh, different messages with these cards versus regular cards. So I'll be reading intuitively too. Asking that your angels and your spirit guides join us get messages that's for the greater good sign of Pisces I think that's pretty good there Pisces bottom of the deck Queen of Cups pretty much in the reverse so cancer energy but whatever it is it is an energy that is um feeling like it needs to address health issues uh, or a health issue there's something and and that might be something very successful five of swords and it's not the bad one <laughs> no i'm just kidding they're, they're not even there's not a bad one or right one or wrong one the star energy in the past energy, the now energy, huh, future energy. Wow, you pretty much have both stars, right? In the environment, there's a lot of waiting. Oh, okay, so, but there's gonna be a decision that has to be made. No matter what, this is not a very great situation. <laughs> I hate to say that. All right, so let's um, go ahead and clarify. Let's find out why. Three of Swords, loss, heartache. Right now, waiting. Let's clarify. Clarify the Three of Swords first, for sure. Two of Swords, reverse. Which is the same thing as this. So it's essentially, it's a decision that has to be made. decision that has to be made might have to do with the pentacles what are we fighting for with the five of swords what are we fighting for <sighs> feeling like a, some kind of commitment feeling like something can't be healed or something needs healing a timeout possibly and we have at the heart of it Aquarius energy or um, star energy. I see moon energy. What is this um, hermit here in the reverse as far as a challenge? Getting somebody to come out. And get their ten of cups. So something it comes with it came something came with a loss. Oh look, we'll clarify it. Ace of Wands. So something that was at first a loss ends up leading to um, something that works out and brand new opportunities that lead to your ten of cups. So I wanted to say with these two cards, I mean, this is trusting your intuition. You probably have really good um, abilities right now at this time. There may be something that is just, you feel like a cycle and you needs to um, turn to something different, but we're still waiting. It may be on this pentacle energy, something to work, waiting on something to work out. I don't know about this, uh, you know, past energies, the page of swords, 
This could be a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. In the past, it could be receiving news, gossip. Um, let's see, what else is this? It could be a tough conversation. What else about this uh, Page of Swords energy? Getting out of a commitment or pulling out of a commitment or deciding to move could have been on the move like very busy with the two of pentacles needing to live in the now because we're so busy so something is about to turn there will come a point where um, a decision will have to be made and it might be whatever this blockage is right now there will be something you'll know intuitively because like i said your intuition right now is probably it's probably scary accurate thinking that something can't be healed Ultimately, the challenge is reintegrating, getting yourself back out there. It feels to me like somebody has put up a fight, but that you're the one here standing with your swords and they look like they're kind of defeated. So something's working out. Hope renewed, wishes fulfilled, and money. So only thing I'm curious about now is... Um, was this four of swords in the reverse out? You may be hanging in there waiting on something to do with that ace of pentacles. A new start. A new start is needed as things start to change in the environment. As hurt, heartache, third party situations are released. Okay, so the hierophant in reverse. Doing something in a non-traditional sense, it brings you your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Everything will be work will be working out just right. No matter what, everybody's going to go through some sort of loss and heartache, and then it may be that we're waiting for that stuff like it's to to leave because the Ten Ten is suggesting divine timing is at play. Leo energy strength. Three of Cups, Celebration, Ace of Cups on the bottom, too. Wow. This is super, super good reading. You have a lot of signs in your reading. I'm going to say um, Libra, Strong, Virgo, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. Angel number message, please. Oh, C88. <laughs> Something to do with money is going to be extremely successful. Eight, your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight, representing the ebb and flow and the infinite loop of creation. So something that maybe took a, maybe took a hit, maybe took a loss with this Ace of Pentacles, and then, then we're in this waiting mode right now. Um, this still breaks your heart, whatever this was that happened, but you're ready to release it because something new is working here and it's in your favor. You do need more information, but it's in your favor. Yeah. 10, 10. So divine timing. And let's pull a cryon card for you all to wrap your reading up. Pisces. Love yourself love yourself and pleasing God. Pleasing God is about breaking free from the notion that you're on some kind of worthiness ladder. Um, that's, it's, it's always, God is always pleased, like always, <laughs> always pleased with you. Love yourself. Love yourself. You start to, to see things reflecting, um, more and more as you love yourself more and more says you've got to love yourself first. That is where compassion starts to be generated, which is so pure. Balance and wisdom show, and it radiates from you, and this is how we change the planet. God is creative source of the universe, and you are part of this God. Therefore, to please God is to love yourself enough to be part of the wholeness. Okay, and sending you love and light. Thanks, Pisces. Bye-bye.